Right now, inotuzumab, azogamycin, which is a CD22 antibody drug conjugate, is uh, currently approved, at least in the United States, for treatment of relapsed and refractory ALL. But there, um, in the pediatric and younger adult population, there has been um, efforts um, within the clinical trials, um, some of the cooperative group clinical trials, to use inotuzumab um, to try to improve outcomes both in our pediatric patients and our uh, younger adult patients. And so those trials are currently ongoing. Whether or not they will show a benefit um, without excessive toxicity, I think, is still an unanswered question. I think where inotuzumab really is going to have a major role is amongst our older adult population where, again, they tend to have worse outcomes, they cannot tolerate more intensive chemotherapy, and so uh, there's many ongoing trials looking at trying to minimize chemotherapy and incorporate inotuzumab uh, or perhaps even um, have a, quote, chemo-free approach, which is uh, one of the cooperative group trials through the Alliance is looking at that, where um, there's very minimal cytotoxic chemotherapy. So I think um, as those trials, the results of those trials come out, I think that our approach, particularly amongst older adults, may really change.